never heard it sound like that. It's got a little dober in it, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a really unique sound. Sound ports. Yes. It's also probably a lot of what I'm hearing, but that tone, I've never heard anything like that before. Wow. It's like that on this side, too. I've never heard it. <laughs> You're like, I'm enjoying it, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, I'll play a little uh, Tommy Mango tune for you all. Mm -hmm.
very orchestral. Like, especially, yeah, I would encourage anybody who would want to play this, definitely, like, sit with it in a quiet room, because this really, these sound ports really just, like, give your ears something else in terms of the dimension. It's just really remarkable. I mean, I'm not used to dual sound ports on a guitar. I'm used to one, it's, which getting, is already awesome. You're getting stereo. Yeah, yeah it's, it's truly, like, listening through headphones at your own guitar as if you're recording in a studio or something. It, it makes a sonic sphere around the player, I think. Yeah. And weirdly, uh, this is counterintuitive, but I've found, after making a bunch of these, that the upper bout tends to emphasize the bass end, and the, the, uh, the one on the hip and the lower bout seems to bring out the trebles. Yes. Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you guys need to, like... Just sit with this and just strip that exactly what he said is like the bass is here. Yeah, you would think that the bass would be near the bridge. Yeah, it's like... you would think the bass would be here, but it's almost kind of like when you're in a studio, they, they usually sometimes with microphones, they do um, they'll do a space, they'll do a space pair, they'll do one at the bridge like this, and then one like this, and then they flip them. Uh, in post, so it really feels like you're holding the guitar. Um, but with this, if you, like my studio engineer, whenever she would like go and figure out where the sweet spot was for the mic, she would just take her ear and kind of go around. And for one of my guitars as a bento, she really wanted this sound. And it's funny what happens when you listen to a guitar from here. You know, you actually get a lot of treble, a lot more treble than you'd expect. Quite hearing as much bass, most likely from there. I could be wrong. I mean, this is a very special guitar. It might be quiet when I'm used to it. But you'll see, like, of course, you get a very full, realistic sound across from the guitar because they're meant to be like this. But you know, sometimes when you listen to a guitar directly from here, you get so much treble, and that's what you're hearing out of this too. It's interesting. Sometimes you can lose the note. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's very easy for those notes to just be like, there and then gone. <laughs> so, nice sustain, that's really nice.
So this is actually the first Malaysian blackwood guitar I've played. I've always wanted to play it. Yeah, That's right. yeah the bass is really satisfying on this. It's, it's very interesting wood. It's, a, it's an ebony. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy and dense. And uh, it has a really metallic ring to it before it becomes a guitar. Oh, okay. And after that, it has a wood ring to it. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, like you, like you do. Double, dual sound ports as well, almost like eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are roadkill footballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And the demi cutaway, so got all the full access without losing as much much of the box itself. Yeah. This is really cool. It's almost like gears or something. If you depending on how you look at it, it's like, it's like a it's like clock reminds me of like clockwork somehow or something, or like steampunk. I don't know if that was the look you were going for, but that's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And then the fretboard also appears to be black, Malaysian blackwood too, or uh, that's actually all the trim, the uh, mm -hmm. the scoop and the bevels and the the bindings and the fingerboard and the bridge and the headstock mm -hmm. are all zircote. Oh, okay. Which I think plays nicely with the Malaysian oh, blackwood. Definitely, it's got that really dark chocolatey depth. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool, man. Yeah, I've been wanting to play. Um, there's been so many luthiers that have spoken so highly of the Malaysian blackwood because it's. I mean, it's like what I've heard is mostly that it's has really good fundamentals, but just a hint of overtones. Luke and James Goodall, they would put in the bottom of their nut or saddles, they'd put a little tiny note that would say, too low kills tone. <laughs> like any guitar tech that was sitting there like having to anxiously lower the action on his yeah. customer's guitar, he's like, ah, maybe I should just show him this. <laughs> Direct from the luthier. <laughs>